today i am going to discuss with you about classification of motor's duty cycle there are nine different motor duty cycles from s1 to s9 i am electrical engineer to learn about this please don't skip this video till its end it is the graph of continuous duty cycle here is the load and it is the time after the motor starting the motor reaches its maximum load at this point and after that the load is constant for all time this line indicates the operation of this motor in this duty cycle there is negligible effect of temperature on motor starting and during the operation of this motor the motor's temperature will reach thermal equilibrium state that means the temperature will be on constant state in industry we generally run this type of motor for 1 to 6 months continuously the motors used in escalators and packaging machinery are examples of this duty cycle the second duty cycle is short time duty s2 here you can see after the motor starts when it reaches its maximum load then it will be on for a short time it is the operation time and after that the motor will be switched off and it will be on rest for a long time it works for a short time this motor cannot reach thermal equilibrium state before reaching thermal equilibrium it will be switched off but due to the long rest time of this motor it can reach ambient temperature state the pump that we use on our home is an example of this duty generally we run this type of motor for 30 minutes per day after this s2 from s3 to s9 r periodic duty cycles out of this s3 to s6 r almost similar duty and from s7 to s9 r also on similar duty so here i'm going to talk with you about this s3 and s7 now the third cycle is s3 intermittent periodic duty and you can see here also the load is constant see after the motor starts the motor reaches its maximum load and then it will be on for a short time it is the operation time and after that the motor will be switched off and then rest for a certain period and after that it will be again switched to on and then it will be on for the same time as before and again it will be switched off just like this this cycle continues due to its continuous operation on a same day this motor will be on on several time because of that this motor cannot reach the thermal equilibrium state and also the ambient temperature state that means this motor cannot be cooled down motors used in plastic machinery and food and beverage processing are examples of this duty cycle and the next cycle is s7 continuous operation with electric braking this portion of the graph indicates the operation of the motor and this portion indicates the electric braking here you can see there is no rest time for the motors it is a very difficult task for the motor and the motor cannot reach thermal equilibrium and ambient temperature state motors used in any crushing mills and material handling process are example of this duty before you purchase your motor you need to know that which duty cycle you need for that before your purchase you need to consult a specialist of the motor and during the purchase time you need to check this motor duty class on the name plate of the motor i hope you have understood about this topic if so please like this video if you want to get more videos with lot of information like this please consider to subscribe this youtube channel thanks for watching